Wrapped back around here by Fargo as we are halfway through this first period, still scoreless. Mellenbacher up against the far side or the near side boards in the corner. Goes down. A lot of contact. We play on. This one right in front somehow got to Mellenbacher. Good stop by Lundgren and cleared out by four. Be another offensive zone face off from the right circle here for Varwerk. But again, one by Fargo. Napier up against the boards to Swanson who gets it to the neutral zone. Knubel. Knubel dances into the middle. Knubel centering pass and it's going to be all the way through to Swanson and he puts it in for a goal. Just kind of slalomed through some Buccaneer defenders. Little backhander through the crease. It's almost like one of those soccer plays where it's the second guy that ends up getting the ball or puck in this case. It looks like it's intended for one guy. That's the, the man in the middle. I think that was Knubel. And that was the player that Lundgren and the defense were playing as if he was going to get the puck. Also right into a Buccaneer. I think that was Bevilacqua who got caught in the crosshairs after the big contact. This one going to be knocked down by Bevilacqua, but it's going to be loose. Bevilacqua could not find the ears, and that allowed Sam Plant to have a shot from about six feet out on Lundgren, and Lundgren did well. Here's Mietinen back to the top in Gruba. Gruba across the ice, Napier. This one gets all the way through, but past everybody, well wide of the cage. Gruba skates into the right circle. This one going to have a rebound. It's loose, and it shovels in for a goal for Fargo. Max Lundgren could not find it after he made the initial stop, but a lot of space given there to the near side as Gruba skated right in, got a solid shot on goal. That certainly is going to be talked about as a defensive error by head coach Matt Curley. Likely to see a change sometime soon. Is this one going to be put out to center? Ryman keeps with it. It's a two-on-one shorthanded. Here's Ryman, goes all the way across to Rourke. And then it's going to be covered as Ryman, I think that was a rebound, just tried to knife it in there, could not. The Bucks had some great intensity first five, six minutes, and they really dominated possession. Here, Varwerk, here the near side, tries to toe drag his shot as wide. Popped high into the air, it's still loose, I don't know where it is, nobody knows where it is. But it doesn't go in as somehow Castro gets it. And now Braden Ford, Pino, Grammer, and Bartle are the four out there on the penalty kill for the Bucks. It's a kneeing technically as here's Bartle he carries it out and another shorthanded opportunity Bartle looks he waits he fires a wrister I think that was it looked like it might have been in Sigurdsson plays it with his back to the center ice here's Ford Ford dances around into the slot his shot is stuffed again it was the right pad which has been busy for Castro all game long and this is a delayed offside Bucks will have to come all the way back out and they do Alex Pino with it for Des Moines, but his pass kind of slipped off of the stick. Uh, Bucks trying to dodge Smol and it goes in. Goal for Fargo out of basically nothing. Pino just missed hit his pass attempt up the ice. And somehow, some way, Kyle Smolin has it on his stick, a little turnaround shot, somehow found its way through. Unfortunately, as Fargo's been able to capitalize on three of them, the Bucks have not capitalized on any of them. Up against the boards, here's West. West has it poked away, all the way out. Now it's a breakaway for JT, JP Turner. JP Turner, a little inside, outside. Good stop by Lundgren. His stick by Zion Green. Green tries to go across the ice to Talon Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson able to get to it. A little hesitation, a little shake, a little juke. In front, oh, what a glove as Green came flying through the slot. One of the better opportunities of the game for the Bucks. Sigurdsson's got it, and now we'll dump it in and chase. Working on Scott. Also down there is Camden Shazby. Taken by Green. Green in the middle. His shot is somehow again caught through traffic. And uh, top record in all of the USHL here in 2022-23. 11 minutes to go here. Still Collins gets it into the zone here for Fargo. And he's going to get it right back, top shelf. What a pass from behind by Smolin. I believe that was Smolin on the pass. It was. How about Kyle Smolin creating from behind the net? And Gert Still Collins, the former Buccaneer, played the first part of this season as a Buck, first quarter of the season or so with a puck in these unplayable situations, especially in their offensive end. 
Van Royen eventually plucks it out of there, and he's got it. Head up, looking for somewhere to go with it. Comes to the near side. Here's Rourke. Nice pass to Kosas. Kosas is in. He fires a shot, and he scores. And the Bucks get the goose egg off the board. And a great play from the Buccaneers to get themselves their first goal of the night. Christian Kosis gets the goal. Something to cheer about for these fans. Tenth goal of the season for Kosis. Beautiful pass by Caden Casey to lead him. Just the second assist for Casey. He's only played ten games this year coming into tonight. A little too far ahead of themselves of where they want to play the puck, and unfortunately it results in them not being able to make accurate passes or a fumbling, and that's what led to the Smolin goal, the third goal of this game is, oh, there's a shot. I don't know how that didn't go in. Off the pipe by Bevilacqua on the near side. Here's Kosis. He'll get it out to center with 10 seconds left. A little paddle ball between the two teams. Here's Caden Casey. He'll fire a shot wide, and that'll do it. Final score, Fargo 4, Des Moines 1.